yellow no that's a purple blue red okay let's let's stay with red hi and welcome to another you don't need that shit video um this week has been a little bit dried out i don't know the releases are i don't want to say that they're boring but they're boring let's just say it how it is i just looked here and there is one palette that sparks a bit of my interest there's a collection that it's i don't know that's just ridiculous to look at then we have a new collab announcement that is borderline exciting depending on how it's executed one item that i'm kind of interested something recycled a brand i think that is that so what should i do the the releases are just not good at the moment but do you know what's good at the moment my lip of today this is the colourpop twilight lip oil in the shade team edward by the way the whole face the whole look is done with the colourpop twilight collection and the video will be up on friday so make sure you subscribe and now let's head over to the releases so I said it last week, but when I filmed, the whole color story wasn't revealed yet. But this time it is. This is the new Nomad Cosmetics, the Verdant Wild Beauty. This is a palette all around um, Ireland, and I understand it. This looks like the perfect St. Patty's Day palette. This looks like the perfect Ireland, I don't know, landscape palette. And I see the beauty in it but this is so freaking not for me. So this was an easy, easy, easy skip. I have seen some um, looks that they were created by other creators and I'm honest with you, they didn't catch me at all. Is it because of the green? Is it because it's too much green? I don't know. I think this is um, the weakest release that I, uh, Nomad Cosmetics has done in the past because a lot of their releases are like bangingly good, but this one, this one, not so much. I, I see where this is coming from. I think this is a nice representation. I love the outer packaging because it's like Ireland um, landscape, the Ireland shore, the cliffs of Mohor is this. It looks nice, very, very pretty, but again, just not for me. So Too Faced, and this is hard, Too Faced comes out with a bronzing and sculpting stick in the chocolate soleil scent. Chances are high that I buy this just because of the scent and chances are high that I have to fight my intrusive thoughts to not buy it. I really want to have it. So it's on the Too Faced website, but I hope they come to Germany. The chocolate mousse color looks actually quite nice. I guess that could fit my skin tone. <sighs> I want to have it. I'm honest with you, but mainly, I'm honest with you, mainly for the scent. If there was no info about the fact that this was scented or not, I would not bat an eye at all. So is this now a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know, but they actually look good but i haven't seen anybody talking about this i'm pretty sure they will come to germany at some point um but I'm, i don't have any date when but i like the idea also uh, let me just add the fact that i think Too Faced is just like the internet explorer it's way too late for bronzing stick so adding the scent definitely is kind of tickling some memories for me you know, chocolate bar palette, that was my first Too Faced item ever. And I abused this palette. This was beaten up. I had pans in nearly every shade. Can somebody please explain what the fuck this is? So, I know what Takis are. I have tried them. I ate the original ones, not the Fuego ones, the, the original blue ones. And they taste horrible. First of all, I'm not a spicy eater. I used to be, but I'm, from time to time, I just try to, to do something spicy with the food. Only food, no? And I always regret it because I just, my stomach can't. I, it's, I'm too old for that. You know, I'm, I'm turning 33 this year. 
I, I say this actually, but I am too old for too spicy food. I get stomach aches for days, so it's not worth it. And they're way too, too vinegary. I, I don't like that. Why does everything have to have vinegar? But I think that's a whole taste thing. My husband likes them, they're okay, but he's also saying they're a bit overrated. But what on the fucking earth? Told, or who on the fucking earth? Told me, well, oh my God, let's do a collab. Let's do a plumping glass that feels like Takis. And I'm pretty sure that this will burn the shit out of your lips. Charlotte Tilbury reached a point where I'm just questioning who is deciding the release calendar. Who's deciding the items that they release? Because this is, besides two items here, just not good. So first of all, she's bringing back the Pillow Talk highlighters, the, the stripy ones, in a new limited edition packaging. That's, in my opinion, a good move because um, they were very, very popular. A lot of people love them. They were announced to be limited edition. So at the same time where I like the move, I kind of criticize the move because when it's limited, when it's limited, don't say German, when. When it's limited, it's limited. I do have the one in Romance Lights, I think it's a, uh, the lightest one. Yeah, Romance Light. It's beautiful. I have used this highlighter so much that the Pillow Talk writing has rubbed off. So yes, I do like this. But there are also um, collagen lip bath in the three new shades pillow talk fair pillow talk medium and pillow talk intense <laughs> then um and that is that is the thing that that is dumb just at all where i'm questioning pillow talk plump gasm <laughs> so if you're not familiar with the charlotte tilbury range we have a pillow talk range and we have a orgasm range like like Pink gasm, sunset gasm, I think was one. Then we have um, peach gasm, no gold gasm, is that also a thing? I don't know. But now she's combining them the pillow talk plump gasm in pillow talk fair medium and pillow talk medium deep. So basically, it is two plumping glosses. I don't know what the year of plump glosses is 2024 and I'm not here for it because I don't want to have it. But what I personally like is the fact that there is now a Pillow Talk Fair Shade. I loved the Pillow Talk lipstick for the longest time. I declutter them because I just realized that the Pillow Talk original shade in the OG lipstick format looks like shit on me. Funny enough, the Pillow Talk lip liner, amazing. The lip blur, their version of a liquid lipstick, amazing. So I'm honest with you, I am peeing my pants for a Pillow Talk fair shade. And even better, it's in the kissing formulation. I just recently discovered the Kissing Lipstick with their um, Icon Nudes or Icon Pink and Red. No, what was that? That Valentine's collection that had pinks and reds. I picked up three shades. Two with a gift card and the other one I picked up because I fell in love with the Kissing formula. I never tried it before. This is such a beautiful formulation of lipsticks. So I'm, I'm honestly super excited for a Pillow Talk Fair lipstick. And I can't wait to see real swatches because if you have been, I'm sorry, I just put away the blur thing here in my little drawer. If you've been kind of aware with Charlotte Tilbury, her swatches are off. She is just incapable of doing good swatches on the website. Do good professional swatch photos. It's impossible. She can't, she never will. So I'm waiting for some real swatches from other creators and I can't wait. I actually am thinking then if the swatches do speak to me to pick up the kissing lipsticks and uh, the kissing lipstick and the matching lip liner because the lip liners, come on, they're the best. Nothing is better than a Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. 
This collab was announced last year in December and I remember that I mentioned it in a You Don't Need That Shit video and that I said in that video the only appropriate way of doing a collab with KISS is by bringing out two products, a black and a white face paint. And here we have Glamlight who bring out a colorful rainbow palette. It makes no fucking sense. There are black and white paints, but it's only eye bases. <laughs> a red lipstick? What the fuck? And then a red, uh, no, not a red, and then a white and a black mascara. So basically it's a um, base coat, a white base coat and a classic mascara. I'm honest with you, I never listen to KISS. It's not my vibe, it's not my music. I'm, and I think my parents, no, they also, I, I think I don't know anybody who actively listen to KISS. And I can't tell you if some of these shades in the palette do kind of represent maybe different songs or like an album cover, whatever. But when I think of KISS, when I ask random people, what's the first color you think about when I tell you, tell me about the band KISS? They will tell you black and white. Nobody will tell you, oh, red, greens and purples. Ah, what a surprise. This is just a ridiculous collection. I have to admit though, the swatches look good. I like Glamlight quality, but this is not making sense at all. The red lipstick does not make sense, the palette does not make sense, and I'm honest with you, the palette looks like they had a lot of leftovers from the whole Halloween thing shebang that happened last year, and now they kind of had to put it in a palette. So will I ever buy something again from Glamlight? Maybe because I know that they teased, or like the owner teased a Twilight Breaking Dawn palette. That could be the moment when I purchase from Glamlight, but um, not directly from the website. Not, no, no, no. If you don't know what happened, go to my channel and watch my review about the Nightmare on Elm Street collection. So this collab that is kind of teased, and I think somebody, showed a first product. I saw somewhere a screenshot of a photo already shared with this logo of Colourpop and Pokemon on. This collab can either be the greatest thing of the Twilight that Colourpop ever did, or this is going to be the worst collab they ever did. Because the Pokemon franchise is so big there are so many opportunities, there are so many opportunities to miss and so many to, to not do very well. I'm honest with you, at this moment I don't have any thoughts about this collab. It could be either way. So let's wait for more pictures. Did you know that the bomb still exists? I didn't. I, I was so sure that they went out of business after their palette last year. I know that when we talked about the palette, I, all, I also said, huh, do they, they, they still even exist? What the fuck's going on here? But apparently they do. And now they're bringing out, um, yeah, setting powders. I don't understand one thing. When there is a brand called Sisley, or name any other known bigger brand. And don't come at me with, oh, the bomb is a small brand. They're certainly not. The bomb had its peak moment, yes, and they're not peaking anymore, but they're still a bigger brand. Whenever other brands would come out with four powders as shade range and not anything else, people would destroy them. Why is it okay for the bomb to come out with four powders only as a shade range and nobody is criticizing that? Kind of hypocrite, isn't it? But um, I'm honest with you, 
I really do not like the packaging. I never liked the bomb packaging. I used Mary Luminizer because everybody else was, but when I just look back, it looked awful on me. In general, the bomb products are just not that good. So um, they're very forgettable and I kind of don't want to hear about them anymore. So when you see the video on Monday, which is March 18th, it's only a couple hours until Lisa Aldridge is bringing out supposedly a skin tint. So that's what I've seen all the rumors been about is a skin tint. I'm 100% sure that this skin tint is going to slay because the Seamless Skin Foundation is a beautiful one. Why should she mess up a skin tint? But the question we are all asking is, where's the concealer? We were promised a concealer last year and I already saw the images of the Lisa Aldrich Pinpoint Concealer, but for whatever reason, this gets delayed and delayed and delayed. So now we get a skin tint. I'm honest with you, I'm good with skin tints at the moment. I don't think I need to add something to my collection in any shape or form that has to do with foundation or skin tints, but I can admire it from afar. And the fact that in one of these pictures, the bottle looks the exact same like the foundation just tells me that probably the bottle is going to be weirdly egg-shaped again, which I'm sorry, I don't have the space in my life to store a part of your packaging with me just so the bottle doesn't fall over. I love What's Up Beauty. I have three of their palettes. I think it's the only three palettes, or like bigger palettes, and they are amazeballs. Every palette in its own is a beautiful artwork. Every palette serves a purpose, and I understand the theme of every palette. What I don't understand is why the fuck do you post this? Why the fuck do you give us something slowly working on the new eyeshadow palette just approved for shimmers coming in 2025? I have a couple questions about this. First of all, did something happen to the owner? Is she ill? Is she sick? Whatever, I don't know. Because this slowly working on the new eyeshadow palette kind of sounds to me like she was on a break. I mean, I haven't heard a lot about What's Up Beauty in the past, I don't know, like four months or five months or so. But again, teasing a product for 2025, calm your tits. Like, come on, this is ridiculous. Why not teasing something for 2030? Come on. Why not teasing something for 3030? Like, this is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Give us teaser the I don't know, but the most maybe three weeks in advance. Nothing more. I hate nothing more than brands putting out teasers for a product that will be up in a year, in eight months, in three months, in two months. It's just too much. Do you know what? When there is going to be a new picture of this product with these shimmers, I will not remember the day that I was talking about this black and white photo because I will immediately erase it out of my memory. Now let's talk, and this is the last product, about the palette that is kind of sparking my interest. This is also the first palette from Clarity Cosmetics that I ever stopped while I was scrolling through the releases and be like, wait, what's that? This is the Euphoria palette. I'm honest with you, this looks delicious. This is already out and this has 12 shades, one super shiny extreme multi-chrome, well, that, 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 that's a hefty description, then one super foiled gorgeous duochrome, three foiled eyeshadows and seven matte pressed pigments. I am missing somewhat of a light pink in this palette, to be honest, to blend out this dark, beautiful purple color story and the reds, but I see how this can work. And I'm actually, I'm actually for the very, very, very first time interested in a Clarity Cosmetics palette. This looks gorgeous. The chromes look super stunning. 
And I might pick this up. I'm pretty sure this will come to my little shop. They do carry Clarity Cosmetics. And I might try this out. I might. Th this is maybe the first time I'm trying out Clarity Cosmetics. If you have ever tried the brand, please let me know if they are any good at all. I've seen videos. I know people who try them. And a lot of them are, well, oh, it's so-so. Let me please know your very honest opinion. And there you have it. These are the releases that I saved for this week. I know it's not a lot, but I just don't get excited at the moment, which is good because I'm in the last weeks of my no buy. And yes, I say no buy because I broke the no buy uh, a lot of times, but there will be a video in the beginning of April where I just talk about how I like think about my no buy, what I broke the no buy for, if it was worth to break the no buy, and if I reached any goal that I might have set myself. So, how about you? Are you interested in any of these releases? Is there something tickling your makeup pickle? Let me please know down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Fun videos are coming and we are working on the way to one fucking thousand subscribers so um whoever is number thousand please let me then know and just put in a comment and scream here so that i know you're number thousand and we can we can celebrate you maybe a bit who knows so thank you and i will see you in the next one